To access the individual student report, first click Reports, and then Individual Student Report. This gives us a wealth of options for editing the report and the way it's displayed and what information it's displaying. We can change the report title here, which will change this text in the report once we run it. We can select which classes to run the report for here, and we can select the report layout. We can order the report by section and then by student, or just by student, and we can sort students by their gradebook preference, their last name, their first name, or their student number. Finally, we can sort assignments within the report by newest due date, oldest due date, or by category and then newest or oldest due date. We can select which areas to include here. Course grades and attendance is this box on the report. By unchecking that in this menu, it will no longer appear on the report. We can also add course grade comments. Assignments is this assignment scores box. By unchecking that checkbox, it will remove the assignment scores box from the report. Finally, category totals is at the bottom of the report, and by unchecking that box, we can remove category totals from the report. We can also select whether or not to show percentages in the data and whether or not we want to show assignments with no entry. Next, we can select the date range for each of these three sections, course grades, the assignment date range, and the category totals date range. For the assignment date range, we can select full class or we can manually determine how far we want the report to go. Finally, there are a number of filters we can use to filter out assignments, scores, categories, and course grades. Assignments can be filtered by their attributes. By selecting the missing box, now only missing assignments will appear on the report. By not selecting any filters, all assignments will appear on the report. We can filter things by score, we can filter assignments by categories, and we can filter course grades out based on a grade range, percent range, color level range, or specific grades. In the Students tab, we can select individual students to run the report for. If, for example, we only want to run the report for one student, we can click on Add or Remove Students, uncheck the box for all students, search for an individual student using the filter box, and select that student. By using the Include Dropped Students checkbox, you can include students that have been dropped from the class. Finally, the Format tab allows you to change some formatting options for the report. You can change the report from a landscape to a portrait view, or change the output of the report. You can exclude row shading, which is the shading on spreadsheets between rows to save ink for printing. You can include a top and bottom note and bold them by using these text box and the check boxes. Finally, you can include a signature line. Useful if you need to take this progress report to a parent-teacher conference or to an administrator and get it approved that it was delivered. Once you set your options, click Run Report. The report will run. You can save the report and then open it to view it.